Hey there, welcome back to your channel. I'm Ellie and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about a really useful feature in Google Docs on how to extract and separate pages. Whether you're working with a large document and you need it to split it up or no, we just want to separate some pages and save them as a file, this video will help you a lot. So grab your coffee, sit back and let's get started. Here I have a Google Docs document with multiple pages. I want to show you separating pages using page break, section break, and line and paragraph spacing. And in the end, I will teach you how to save the pages and delete the breaks. Okay, I place the cursor anywhere I need to insert a page break or separating a page. Now on the insert tab, down here, break. There are different types of breaks, page break, and two kinds of section breaks. First, I click on the page break. As you can see from the result, the paragraph where I place my cursor has moved to the next page as the page break has applied. Alright, this was the first method, and I separated this item from the previous items, and it appears on the next page. The next method is very similar to the page break. Again, I place my cursor where I want to add a break. Then I go to the insert tab, down here, break. And section break. As you may see, the pages are separated. The next method is very easy. As always, I position the cursor before the text. Then I go to the toolbar and click the Align and Paragraph Spacing button. A drop-down menu will appear, then I will find the Add Page Break Before option. I click on it to insert the page break where I place the cursor. Alright, the page break is done. And as you see, surely in just a few clicks, I have applied the page break and separated the pages where I want. And also, there is a shortcut key that you can use to insert page breaks into Google Docs, no matter whether you're using a Mac or Windows computer. To insert a page break into Google Docs, press Ctrl Enter for Windows or Command Enter for Mac. And the break is added, and the page is separated. There is also another way, I place my cursor anywhere I want to insert a page break, then I type add sign break, and I will get the choice to add a page break, a section break, or a section break on the next page. These were different methods by that you can add a page break into your document. Now I want to save each page as a PDF file. If I go to the File tab, there is a Download option, and using that, I can download my document as a PDF file. But as you can see, all pages are downloaded all together, and I should separate each page with the use of applications or websites. But there is another way to save the file. I press Ctrl P. This window will open. Now for the destination, I save it as PDF. The main part is the Pages option. When I click on that, this drop-down menu will open, and I will select Custom. Now I can type each page I want to save. For example, 3 and 4. As you can see, it brings me just those pages. And I click on save. Now I choose the location. Again save. Okay, as you can see, just pages 3 and 4 are saved as a PDF file. Finally, let me show you how to remove page and section breaks that you inserted into your document. First, you need to see where you added these breaks. So, go to the File tab, then click on Page Setup. On this pop-up window, click on the Page List tab, and then OK. 
as you can see, the page setup has been changed. Now you can find the position of the bricks. To delete the page break, click under the one you want to remove. On your keyboard, press backspace or delete until the page break is removed. To delete a section break, click at the end of the final paragraph before the section break you want to delete. Press delete on keyboard. You may need to repeat this to remove any additional spaces. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to extract and separate pages in Google Docs. If you have any suggestion or question, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section. For the next, check out this video that will help you to improve your skills in Google Docs. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. And at the end, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.